This video contains a lot of gas, and very contagious and may find it disturbing. Viewer discretion advised. Today is Monday. It's been almost a week now I ordered a camera from eBay. Um, I was hoping that it would show up um, probably on Friday, but it did not. Yes, the camera is here and I'm super excited about it. So let's open it up and see what's in here because I cannot wait to see this camera. I cannot wait to feel it. I cannot wait to see how it looks like. Oh dang, I think I got scammed. Or maybe I did not. Well, I have already opened the box and I just put it all back together um, just so I can make a video, you know? Um, I, like I said, I've been waiting for this camera for almost a week and there is no way it's going to show up and I wouldn't, you know, open it right away and see what it's in there and see and feel what the camera is so here it is my very first russian camera What's up guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back to the channel. I'm not here to show off um, because I know I have all these cameras lined up here. I have a story. I think I have gas. I think I do. Um, not the one that comes out of, you know, it started when I first thought I need a rangefinder camera back again because back in 2020 i bought a leica i ended up selling it because i felt like i was babying it too much and so it I, it wasn't inspiring me to to go and shoot which if a camera doesn't do that then why do you even have it in the first place unless you get gas and then you just keep buying cameras for no reason this is my favorite camera this camera here, I trust with everything within me because not only does it work, the light meter is spot on. I love the lens that is on it, 1.4 50 millimeter lens. It was also gifted to me by my friend Dave and uh, it's very special. But it comes to a time where you want something else because you don't want this to be your daily carry because you want to, you know, have its lifespan very long. Back in 2021, when I was about to go on my trip to Ghana, um, I had a camera that I don't remember now that broke on me a week before I went on the trip. So I went on Facebook market, found this Konica. It came with three lenses, the 50, the 28, Actually, a 40, a 28, and a zoom, a 72, I think 135 or something like that, which um, surprisingly used it a lot when I was in Ghana. I took these two cameras with me, but I shot this way more than I shot the Canon. 
Okay, so after that, I still wanted more. Like I said, I got gas. So um, my birthday was approaching and I thought, let me get a camera for myself. Um, again, went on Facebook market and found this Yashica Electro, which I didn't realize how much I would like it. Um, especially how it looks. It's very unique. It's it's different. It's it wasn't anything that I've used before. And also, like I said, I've had a camera, I've had a Leica before, so I was having that itch of uh, getting a rangefinder again. Unfortunately, when it showed up, uh, the battery in it wasn't working. Um, it's it's one of those old batteries they've stopped producing, and so you have to get an adapter for it very very excited about it took it on a short trip i don't know if it was because we were in the cold or not but anytime i hit the shutter it gets stuck and it wouldn't come up so that just kind of bumped me out which means we need another camera to replace it so i went out and bought me this canon vt it's one of those cameras that has the, you know, quick advanced stand down here. Um, it does need a CLA and that is why I don't shoot it that much because I don't want to stress it that much until I've got it fully CLA and functioning proper. Yeah, you will say, oh, why do you have stories of reasons why you need another camera well I do because the cameras keep failing me so I went on Facebook market again I saw this boy for 20 bucks and I thought 20 bucks well if I get it that's really not much and it's a new camera and maybe it will take that itch away maybe it will take my gas away so I went and got it, um, came with a 50 millimeter lens, I, I guess, I think so, um, but I didn't like that version of 50 millimeter lens that much. Um, there was something wrong with it. So I went to a local camera store um, to get a new lens for it. This camera is the Vivitar. I think 3800N or N3800. Um, it takes K mount, which is Pentax K mount. I wasn't finding any K mount, which there is a lot, but I wasn't finding a K mount lens that I really like. However, I was finding an M39 lens that I really love. So then I thought, why don't I just buy a converter mount it on there to be able to put an M39 screw mount lens on it. And so this came about, this lens came about, not the camera, this lens. Now, after putting that lens on it, um, I shot a roll, it came out nice, but then I realized the focusing was just, just a little bit off it's not functioning fully as it's supposed to because this lens is so great that you know you have to use it to its full full potential so um that took me down into a rabbit hole again of finding an m39 camera now there is a lot even uh pentax themselves has an m39 which is their uh spotmatic but I don't know I wasn't I wasn't liking it you know um, I'm a huge fan of uh, how a camera looks like it, it really has to look good I really have to fall in love with it before I want it or I want to shoot it so speaking with my friend Dave about it uh, he mentioned he has this Petri laying around somewhere that he had forgotten about and that um, it's mine if I want it. Now, we have to wait for that camera that I ordered to show up. And it did. It's here. 
it's the zenith 11 and oh boy she is sexy she is beautiful and very very unique um one thing that i really like about it is how the film advanced like look at that that is that is very cool it's very very cool so i haven't shot any road through it yet i'm excited to um shoot it <laughs> now i have a little problem with it because it also has this it also has a similar focus in like the petri does um however it the viewfinder is brighter than the petri so um hopefully that helps if not i don't want i don't want to get gas again because i feel like it's it's gone away now now that i got this camera i feel like it's gone but i don't want to have it again because you guys know if you are into film you don't want to go down that rabbit hole um i think the light meter works because the pin on here moves whenever you point it to light and dark you know so hopefully that works i'm not going to trust it fully but it does help when you have a camera that has a, a light meter that works um because it makes it just convenient to shoot so here it is my very first russian camera and i really do love it um it looks beautiful it's it's, it's like it looks like it's never been shot um and i like the uh how small it is in your hand and the feel of it i've never had any camera with a round view find that it's pretty neat so that's it that's it for the video i'm about to take this lens off put it on here put a roll of film through it and uh maybe the next video we will be looking at the photos that I made with it and uh, be talking about the next camera that I got. I'm just kidding. Maybe not, but we will see. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.